Hey there, folks. Welcome to Off Pitch with Hermes, the show where we talk about the culture surrounding the Portland Timbers Football Club. You know, back in the day, I used to be a capo. We'll see for you, Timbers! Which means I faced the wrong direction and implored the crowd to sing. But now, I've talked the front office into giving me a desk inside the stadium. So let's go find it, shall we? Ah, look at this, this is new. Awesome, oh yeah, wow. Wasn't expecting it to be this nice. Hey there, I'm Hermes. I was told my office is down here. No, next door. Awesome, bet they're putting me in a nicer office. So this is the new office. I can work with this. Folks, I've always wanted to have a show where I had unlimited access to the players, to the coaches, to the staff at the stadium that makes the magic happen. Well, that didn't exactly work out, now did it? But we're gonna make the best of it. And until I get caught, I'm going to bring you the best of the underground stories that this grand old dame has to share. Are you ready? Are you with me? Are you willing to go deep? Because I am. Let's go together. So like we were saying, this old stadium has seen a lot over the years. Remember when the hot ticket was to come down to Tanner Creek and watch the hog butchering on Friday nights? Boy, I sure do. You see, folks, back in the day, Timber Jim, Timber Joey and I, we all met right here in the West Stands. We were carpenters building out what became Geldwin Field eventually. I think you can see me right about there. I think Jim and Joey are on coffee break. And here's my dear old pal Rocky Benevento laying sod in 1958. Green side up, Rocky, green side up. And who can ever forget the annual all day, all lady tug of war competitions? Why those made the Timbers Army look like a sewing circle. And I remember like it was yesterday, Timber Jim and I built this nice fancy ski jump here. Just imagine what it would be like if we shot a player from the opposing team into the North End today. Pretty sure that wouldn't pass modern building codes. Then we had the war bonds drive. Can't remember if that was the Spanish-American War or the time we invaded Grenada. So you can see this wasn't always a Mecca. Back in the day, when it was Tanner Creek, Jim and Joey and I got together and put the creek into some wooden pipes. True story. Well, we used Seattle's famous flounder fish oil pipe sealer, and that didn't work too well. Sorry about that. And that's why the official name of the Timbers Army is the Tanner Creek Boys and Girls Club. And now you know. Do you see this dot in front of us here? Well, association football, what we call soccer, has been played on this very dot for 119 years. In 1893, a group of sailors from Astoria and Portland played that newfangled game invented in England and imported around the world by traveling sailors. So this is a hallowed ground where soccer has deep roots, deep history, deeper even than the timbers. So whether you know it as Multnomah Stadium or Geldwin Field, this is hallowed ground. And that, folks, is exactly what Off Pitch with Hermes is all about. So join us as we go underground, as we find the backstories and the mythologies behind the Portland Timbers Football Club. See you next week.